Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to readings. We're going to do a Pisces reading. We're going to the Osset uh, Gypsy Tarot. These are by James Jacob Pieri. Pisces. Pisces. Spirits in the room. Let's pick up Pisces. Just a couple more. One more. Pisces. Let's get her on. Let's get her done, Pisces. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. First card is the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse. We have the Five of Wands in the reverse. All right, Pisces, you're letting down. You've made the decision. You're not anymore, um, you're not anymore thinking about, I'm having a difficult time making a decision. You're making a decision. You're letting down the fight. I'm, almost what I'm feeling here, Pisces, is there's no fight left in you. I, I'm done. I can't fight anymore. But the Queen of Pentacles walks in a beautiful garden. This could be your spiritual garden, or it could be good health, or it could be money coming towards you. Let's find out what's going on here. Let's shuffle. Pisces. I have the Five of Cups in the reverse. All right, so this is definitely, this is um, no no longer looking back and grieving. Looking at it's three cups all smashed up. This is turning around and seeing the two cups that are still very full, overflowing. So Pisces, we got giving up the fight, making the decision, something about Queen of Pentacles coming in here. And looking at your two cups that are still very full. I got the full here. Get ready for a leap. Where are you going? Well, it's not with a soulmate. With the two of cups in the reverse. Are we taking the leap into a soulmate? No. So what are we taking the leap into? Pisces. Pisces. I've got ten of swords in the reverse. Something's not ended though, Pisces. There's something about a soulmate upside down here. I see you're getting ready to take a leap into something. Actually, Pisces, what I'm seeing is you're doing pretty, pretty good. But there's something here about an upside down uh, soulmate connection. And the ten of swords, it's not over. Somebody's feeling that this is not over. Mm. Let's pick up the cards. What's going on? Six of Cups in the reverse. All right, something's going on here. Six of Cups in the reverse. Again, soulmate, someone from the past. Someone that you have history with. Obviously, no. Someone has hijacked. What's going on here? Let's get some cards out so we can read it. Okay, but the Ace of Swords in the reverse. All right, Ace of Swords in the reverse. There's something about no truth. 
Hold on. Spirit, what are you telling me? The Ten of Pentacles. Has someone feel does does someone feel like they've lost their security when they lost you? Does somebody feel Oh, what is going on? I need some cards. I'm sorry, Pisces. Bear with me. Difficult reading. I need some cards here. Spirit. Now I have the uh, Five of Pentacles. Leaving it out in the cold. And I have the King of Cups. Here's Pisces. Doubled up in Pisces. The High Priest is coming out here. What is going on? What is going on? All right, so somebody does not tell the truth. Someone does not tell the truth about um, a, a connection that they have with you. It's not over. I, I, I'm really feeling that they can't let it be over. With the Ten of Pentacles, but no truth in the Ten of Pentacles. And, and the Five of Pentacles right afterwards. There's somebody here. Could be a lover, could be... Uh, oh my gosh, it could be anybody. But the thing is... Is that they don't tell themselves the truth. Unless it's you. I, I see you doing well. Making up your mind and, and and getting ready to take a leap. But Pisces, then all of a sudden everything just morphs. Everything just uh, switches. Why? Is it somebody else or... Is it you? Is it possible that it really isn't over? Is it possible that you're still thinking about it? And then we're doubled up here in Pisces. And the High Priestess knows secrets. Oh, hold on now. Hold on. The High Priestess knows secrets. What is going on here? Emotion. Huge emotion with the King King Neptune coming out here. Huge emotion. The, the secrets. The high priest, the high priestess. Not telling yourself the truth. What has happened? What is going on? Is this person gone for good? Like, has this person gone uh, beyond? Because Pisces... Uh, what's going on here? I need more cards. What is Spirit saying? Spirit, come on, bring it in. This is my first reading for the last two days, so... i, I got to get warmed up here. Spirit. And now we have the Ten of freaking cups there with the high priestess king neptune the ten of cups and the seven of cups with doors opening hold on let's get some cards out here what is this is this the eight seven seven of pentacles waiting what are you waiting for pisces you know, for a moment there, I thought someone was hijacking, but this is all you. This is all you. There's something here. The Empress. Let me get some cards out. Nine of Wands. Empress, Nine of Wands, are you having a hard time? Wow, what the heck is going on? Hold on. What the heck is going on? Oh. 
two swords. What the heck is going on here? Hold on, Pisces. Let me look. Let me take a look here. What is Spirit saying? What are these cards telling me? It just seems like all of a sudden I've forgotten how to read. This crazy stuff. That was a page of swords. That was the best start that came out here. I thought it was the two of swords. It looks like the two of swords. This is a page of swords here. But the two of swords is coming out now. Right side up. All right. Pisces says someone passed. Um, a love or a... I don't have the lovers here. A, a love... Or um, a family member. Because with the Ten of Pentacles, this, this is uh, inheritance, uh, security. But there, there's something here. Waiting. Waiting for the Ten of Cups. But showing a lot of emotion. Using the High Priestess to get your Ten of Cups. This is crazy. How do, how do I read this? Having a hard time making a decision about something. Carrying around with the, the Empress and the Nine of Wands. This is having a hard time bringing uh, ideas out. Or. Or. Has someone passed and you're having their child. Which would bring in the Nine of Wands. This heaviness and anxiety and. And great sadness, and I'm having their child, and they're not even here anymore. I really do feel like I'm picking up on someone who's not here anymore. With everything here in the reverse. Giving up the fight. Giving up the fight is because there's just, if someone's passed, there's nothing left to fight for. There would just be grief, right? But I, I've got the five of cups. In the reverse. And, and that is a grief card, but in the reverse, it's seeing the two cups behind you. This this is quite possibly with the knower of secrets. Great emotion and the knower of secrets, but not telling yourself the truth about something. Holy crow. <laughs> Spirit, help me. Help me. <laughs> I cannot read without spirit. Spirit, help me. What is going on? Judgment. This is the uh, Ace of Wands in the reverse, which is no new adventure, no new beginning. I, I just got this feeling. Wow. Oh, okay, so now I've got the uh, the Page of Wands. I've got children coming out here. And the seven of wands in the reverse, letting down your guard. Why? 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 Uh, the nine. The ten of wands. The ten of wands in the reverse is letting go. What is going on here? All right. Pisces, I really do feel that you're trying to get yourself out of a trap. I feel I feel that there's good days and there's bad days and there's days you're ready to leap ahead. And you see your two full cups. I, I see you're waiting probably for some sort of inheritance or word. This could be a, a, a parent who has passed. But there's something here. That must be found. There's something about not telling yourself the truth about something. There's leaving something out in the cold, leaving inheritance out in the cold. Letting your guard down, not and, and giving up the fight. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's bring it together. Giving up the fight. 
inheritance card and leaving it out in the cold. Is there something here, Pisces, that you feel that maybe it is too emotional? That maybe with the, even with the high priest or the high priestess coming in here with the Ten of Cups, is it possible that you're thinking, uh, I, I'm wasting my time thinking about inheritance here, even though I, I should get something. Because uh, I, I'm giving up the fight when it comes to um, inheritance. But the card before the inheritance and leaving it out in the cold, the card before is you're not telling yourself the truth. Tell yourself the truth. You are worthy of, of inheritance. You are worthy of something here other than grieving for somebody. There's great emotion. And you know things. You know secrets, but you haven't been speaking things. You've been keeping it within. Doors are beginning to open here, and you're waiting for something. But you're having a hard time as the Empress... You're having a hard time delivering. Now, this could be a, a child. You could be pregnant with a child uh, and, and possibly a, a lot of freaking worry. But you could also be trying to take a leap and move forward. But it's it's hard. There, with, with the nine of wands here, it's very, very hard. There's anxieties and worries. But in the beginning here, you're doing well. But then you seem to fall back into thought. Self-doubt. Having a hard time making a decision. With the, with the, with the um, judgment card here, this is bringing up the dead. But there's there's no new beginning here. There's no new adventure with somebody. And, and the two of wands here. It's not the two of wands. It's a page of wands. What is the... What the hell is going on here, Pisces? Very, very difficult reading. And, and then the ten of wands in the reverse... Which is good. Hold on. Well, let's let's find out what's Pisces. Pisces, what is going on? Is it just a random read for anybody, or is this someone's personal reading? What is going on? So now I have the King of Wands. All right. Hold on. The hanged man, again we've got Pisces here. The hanged man in, in the reverse. No more sacrifice. The wheel of fortune. And the uh, eight of swords. Okay, so. This is some sort of money reading. Somebody has passed away here. There's no more sacrifice. Someone has passed away. Someone's died here. It was someone who was is a a lover of love. It is someone who uh, and may have left their spouse for someone else, or uh, may may have been known to uh, maybe not or just be totally innocent, but maybe known to uh, flirt a lot. But you know things. There's something here that you know, but you're not speaking. It causes you a lot of emotion because I think, I think you're getting, you just, I think you want to burst at the seams. I, I think you want to spill your guts. Whatever it is, the secret that you have. I, I think you feel that you're being um, treated unfairly. After someone has passed. And, and like I said, I really don't see a lover. But I see someone. 
that may have, let me see, I got one, two, two teenage kids, two teenage kids, and, and someone may be pregnant with a third, or a, what the heck is going on? Pisces says, but with the, the Nine of Swords Nightmare card, uh, the Wheel of Fortune followed by the Nine of Swords. Th this this is uh, condemning your own future, condemning your own fortune somehow. What the hell does that mean to you? What does that mean? Let's pull out a couple more cards. This is the most difficult reading. Normally, Pisces readings are just, they just fall off my tongue, but not tonight. Very, very difficult. But I do have the Ace of Cups. Love, thanks, and devotion. Ace of Cups coming out here, followed by... Followed by the Four of Pentacles, holding on to that Ace of Cups. God love you, darling, you know? There's a Hierophant, there's Spirit. Oh, my God. It is also the Church that you're holding on... Oh, spirit's moving. Hold on. Are you holding on to get married? Are you holding on to get married? Is this somebody? Is this somebody else? You're ready to take a leap. But is this somebody else waiting for someone to pass in order to get an inheritance? And Pisces, you know secrets. You know secrets. And you have great emotion. It's almost like you, you just, you're just busting at the seams. You just, you want to speak, but you don't. And so there's this lie that you tell yourself. Is this somebody else waiting? Are you pregnant, Pisces? If not, if you're not pregnant, it shows that you have a lot of ideas, but you just can't bring them out into the world. You can't seem to prosper with them. But there's something here. You know something about somebody that seems to be waiting for inheritance, sir. What is it, the secret that you could know about somebody that's waiting for inheritance? Are they, <laughs> are they going to kill them? <laughs> hey, you never know. Come on. Terrell will take you there. Are they planning on killing somebody to get their inheritance? What's going on here? You know her of secrets. <laughs> wow. What the hell? But you're holding on to that Ace of Cups. You're holding on tight. And the Hierophant coming in, you're holding on to some sort of love. And then there's marriage, the marriage card. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Is this somebody planning on um, <laughs> on somebody else's demise? <laughs> and, and wow, because spirit keeps saying over and over, the knower of secrets, the knower of secrets. Pisces, are, are you like uh, associated with this somehow? What the hell is going on? Uh, this is the craziest reading. I, I, I just want to close it up because... I mean, well, when you start reading murder, uh, you, you know, you just want to close it up. What the hell? Or is it something that you know has already happened in the past? Uh, were you waiting for some sort of uh, um, a ten of cups here from something? Did somebody... Uh, offer you something to keep your mouth shut. To keep the secrets of something. This is, oh my God. What the hell am I reading here? All right, I'm closing this up. <laughs> you already know what I think here. Holy crap. I, I'm just going to name this thing um, murder. Because this is this it's probably why it's so hard to read. Because it's, uh, please, you don't have uh, to put any 
comments down below. Um, I appreciate you watching, but you really don't have to put a comment down below. Uh, because I know you are the keeper of secrets. But this is one hell. I have never read anything like this before. Never, ever, ever. Pisces. And, and I do see that you're holding on to uh, some sort of love or an ace of cups there. And something about spirit. There, there might be confliction here. Let me just grab one more card. Uh, and it is... Uh, it's justice. Paying the piper. One more card, spirit. One more card, what do we have? The world in the reverse. This just doesn't seem to freaking end. Uh, that's probably why I have the nightmare card. Uh, Pisces, what I'm picking up is you've probably seen something or you know something. And you're just, you're lying to yourself. You're not talking. You know, when it comes to something like this, it's uh, it's really hard when when somebody is, uh, especially when it comes to inheritance. Uh, this is uh, wild and crazy stuff here. And I'm going to close it up because it is just uh, <laughs> a little too much for this reader. And uh, um, wow. Okay. Let's find out who's here anyway. I've got Virgo and I have uh, Libra coming in. There is Taurus. One hell of a freaking reading. I'll tell you, Cancer. Hello. Oh, Cancer. Um, Aquarius is here. Aries. Pisces. Pisces is all over the board. All over the board. Aries again. I I just hope uh, Pisces that you're not pregnant here. Doubled up in Pisces. My God Almighty, Spirit, Spirit, <laughs> Aries, hell of a friggin' reading, wow, oh my God, and there's Sagittarius, all signs are on this board, Whew. that's the reading I have for you tonight, oh my Lord, God love you darling, I want to thank you for joining me tonight. And if you like the way I read, please like and share. And on your way out the door, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. So you'll know next time Spirit comes out to speak to you. Thank you, Spirit. Namaste, Pisces.